inside black metal there are some common stylistic things that they are uh, common to to many bands especially if we're speaking about bands from norway of the second wave of black metal and i'm not speaking only about music of course and i'm speaking also about some things and not only the corpse paint the hull and etc but i'm speaking also about some things inside the, uh, the stylistic way of the artwork of the albums here i will speak about one special uh, subject about it first of all one thing that um, uh, i saw in many many albums of black metal not only from norway and not only of the second uh, wave of black metal you can find that uh, they use many many of the many of the bands they use the photographs of the members of the band in a small um, uh, let's say uh, photographs uh, one after the other like for example here i have the first uh, uh, full studio album of emperor in the night side eclipse so uh, the, in the artwork uh, from behind you can find uh, the pictures of the band like that inside the, these boxes this is something that we can find it in many many black metal albums not only from Norway but here I, I want to speak about something else uh, in some of the albums especially from Norway and special of the uh, second wave of black metal you can find inside the album some style of pictures or uh, or drawings that they are most of the time uh, black and white and most of the time this style of pictures or drawings are about um, about um, uh, uh, trees and things like that um, mountains and uh, so on and so on something natural for, okay from the nature for example let's take dark throne and here we have the uh, third uh, album of them under a funeral moon the second album of the holy trinity of them and if you open it you can find this style of uh, it's, it's a drawing okay also with uh, a norwegian name by the name takefert it's written here in in, Nor in norwegian okay this kind of pictures i'm speak about uh, for example, also in the next album of uh, Dark Throne, Transylvanian Hunger, the same, uh, the same stylistic thing. You open it and you find another, uh, another drawing, and also here we have uh, the name Ferdansk Sin, something like that in Norway, in, Norv in Norvegia. Um, also you can find in this this style of of drawing is very close to the picture to the picture to the drawing of uh, eternal hails that they they use in their last album as uh, the cover art also a cover art that many other black metal uh, bands they used it for example it was a, a black metal band from greece by the name zephyrus hmm. also zephyrus was a, uh, one of uh, of the members of re of early dark throne uh, in any case uh, they used also this uh, greek metal black metal band they used a uh, cover art with the same uh, artwork but let's continue uh, another example they are the first albums of burzum of valk uh, let's take here for example the, his second album that some and can var you open it and you find also a drawing here you have a, a shaman and something like that maybe it's the figure that we can find it in him here and also you can find this figure also in the in the artwork of his first album burzum uh, now also in his uh, third album uh, he is uh, listed uh, tar os let the light take us okay here you open it you can find 
also a, a, a drawing that is from if I'm not sure from the same um, artist that he made uh, this uh, cover art and also in Philosophy his fourth album Philosophy the same thing you open it and you find also another style of this style of, of uh, let's say of drawing If we spoke about Dark Throne, let's go and speak about another uh, project of Fenris and then speak about Isengard. Uh, in his first album of uh, this project, by the name Winter uh, Skudze, if I prefer it well in Norwegian, uh, so here inside the album you will find pictures in the same way, okay, like that. Always pictures or drawings with uh, the theme of nature. Most of the time, night, natural trees, mountains. And now, also Satyricon. Satyricon, in their first album of them, Dark Medieval Times, if you open the album inside, they have this drawing. I think it's drawing, not a picture. Okay. Uh, also, it's it's written here, Pesten uh, 13, uh, 49. Okay. And uh, also, when they made um, uh, a new release of this album uh, with uh, a new production, if not so, in 2021. They use the same pics, the same uh, drawing as uh, the artwork of uh, of the album. Also here, you can find the pictures of, of, of the band in uh, in boxes. Okay, as I spoke before about it. Okay, and now uh, this style of drawings or pictures about nature. Most of the time I found them inside albums of Norway of the second wave of black metal. Now, if there are also other albums that I don't know or other bands, not only from Norway, and not only from the second uh, wave, uh, so I, I will be glad if you can uh, uh, tell me in the comments. But here I will, I will speak also about two other bands that they found something common. Uh, that they're not, they are not from Norway. Here, first of all, I have uh, the great uh, this third album of Balsakov from England. They played a very special kind of epic, uh, atmospheric, uh, symphonic black metal. Let's say this is the third album of them, Battle Magic. Something else also about this album is not uh, in the same. Uh, if I'm speaking about this album, uh, the last. Let's say song. It's not exactly a song. It's a, an interlude that uh, finishes the album by the name and Atlantis Falls. Atlantis Falls. The music theme is very close to one to one of the themes of the soundtrack of Harry Potter of the films of Harry Potter. How it how uh, it came out, I don't know. They are from England and they are from England. But this album is even before many many years from from 1998. It's many years before the films. I'm, I'm not sure if, even before the books, Harry Potter. But if you find, if you understand what I'm saying, or if not, you, if if you have a, a question, let's go and, and uh, listen to it and say to me if it's very close to one of the themes of the Harry Potter film. Uh, but now let's uh, see something inside this album. Here also, in the middle, you have a drawing, a style of picture. Here is not black-white, but also the same thing. Natsu, mountains, uh, soldiers here also, warriors. And another thing also that I found, uh, we have a, 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 very, a very, very good band of black metal from Canada, from 
Quebec of Canada, if, if I'm not sure, a Spectral Wound. Until now, they made three studio albums, but here in their uh, second album of them, by the name Infernal Decadence, also they have a very good uh, uh, artwork uh, uh, in the front of the album, a picture like that, but also in the backwards, you can find a, a black white uh, picture. Uh, that uh, it's very close to the pictures of um, of these uh, Norwegian black metal bands that they use this kind of pictures, and the, and they continue this way also in the third and last album of 2021, uh, a Diabolic First. Also here you can find another style of of a picture of the same. Uh, uh, Let's say, uh, let's say, a uh, theme, but here they have uh, a little bit less. Uh, we don't speak about uh, nature, something, uh, okay, something else, uh, more sinister, but uh, the same style. So, if you know uh, other bands uh, that they use the same style of stylistic uh, uh, pictures and, uh, and the drawings inside their uh, albums, uh, I will be glad to know. So, from Jerusalem, from Israel, stay metal and stay heavy. <laughs>